Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about some cutscenes that I've seen from Saints Row. I will be playing all the cutscenes, by the way, here. These aren't leaks, these are official posts. Um, but we've seen some pretty cool cutscenes. I also posted one of them as a YouTube short, and I really wanted to just talk about a few of them and the sort of tone and vibe I'm getting from the story. Now, I've got some things that I'm going to say that people won't particularly like, and that's completely fine. Um, but first of all, I know I have to do this every YouTuber does. Um, we're really close to 3k, and I want to hit it before the one-year anniversary. Support has been absolutely immense from you guys recently and I cannot thank you all enough but if you want some regular Saint Tro content constantly being uploaded so you have something to watch about the game feel free to subscribe I seem to be the person doing that currently um but yeah anyway I'm going to show you these cutscenes now and let you all get into them really man I'd hate to be the idols right now everyone at that party is probably going to get killed oh shit gotta go. fuck the idols it looks like you're gonna back the fuck off the Saints are here to stay, baby! Second by second, and in the same tone as them, but with the voice of the- Son of a bitch! Kev, I think it's time you throw us a hell of a party. We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros! Guys, we're really good at what we do. Yeah, what the fuck is happening? We're starting a criminal empire. <laughs> nice left. So, from what I've been seeing from these cutscenes, and I, I don't know if you guys would agree, I can't help but feel that the tone that I'm getting from the game seems to be, well, kind of what they've told us we were going to get the entire time, which is Saints Row 3, but a bit more serious. It's definitely not as, um, you know, deep and dark as Saints Row 2, but um, it, it's nowhere near the level of Black Year 3, at least from what I've seen, and I can't help but feel... Um, I'm gonna say something here, and I think this may annoy a few people. I'm getting a Watch Dogs mixed with Saints Row 2 and Saints Row 3 vibe. I know, Watch Dogs 2, oh, everyone panic. But completely honestly, I'm, I'm seeing the good points of Watch Dogs 2, that, you know, the, the vibrant colours, the really fun sort of... The, the way the missions look are kind of fun, and, and the cutscenes kind of blend well. Um, you know, and I can't help but feel I'm getting a mix of that from the, the story, but... On the story, I, I just feel like like um, it kind of seems like we're going for a more serious route. I know that everyone's sitting there going, the characters look too young. And yeah, okay, fair enough. The characters are quite young. No one has denied that. But what I will say is they don't seem to be completely immature. They actually seem to be not only quite amusing from a couple of cutscenes that I've seen, but I'm actually becoming quite fond of them, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm starting to like them almost uh, you know at one point i was sitting here going you know what i'm okay with these characters but i'm starting to like them i'm starting to think they're quite cool um you know they've got some funny cutscenes, and besides like maybe a few bits of dialogue seeming off i have to say the tone wise um i'm quite happy it seems to be doing really well i don't know what you guys think as well let me know down below but yeah um story wise it seems to go for a more grounded three which is what we kind of expected these cutscenes seem to be semi-serious you know it's not the game laughing at itself the whole way through which i think is um pretty important saint Row three and four they seem to be doing this wacky parody of you know its former self with this it does not seem to be a wacky parody it seems to be a bit wackier than two yes but it's not a parody of itself it seems to be taking itself like, it, it seems to be having humour, but relatively serious. It seems to be, you know, serious missions, serious goals, but, you know, it has that comedic sense mixed in there, which I, I think is great. I think that's what we needed. You know, what we love Saints Row 2 for was the fact it was a very dark and serious game mixed with humour. This game, I will not lie, I don't think it's going to be as dark, but 
it seems to be serious. It seems to be they're taking the game serious. The missions seem to be like, you know, serious and legit. And I think they've got a bit of humor to them. Um, especially the idols cutscene. That that one personally got me like really on board. I, I personally love that cutscene. It seems to be very amusing. And from all the other cutscenes I've seen, it, it seems to be nice and serious. So um, yeah. All I can really say is the vibe I'm getting from this game right now is it's not going to be laughing at itself the entire way. This game is not taking itself as a joke, it's supposed to be fun, but not funny to laugh at, like, as in the game itself. It's just supposed to be fun, and have funny moments, which I think is great. With Saints Row 3, and specifically 4, you can see that the game was kind of laughing at itself the whole way through, you know, oh, look at this wacky moment, look, we have a dildo about all this and that, and it was hilarious. But I think that this does seem to be the game being funny, instead of, you know being laughed at at the same time if that makes sense it's hard to explain what i'm trying to say here but the game itself is actually funny from what i'm seeing and i mean i can only say from what i've seen but it seems to be uh, very amusing and i have to say i'm i'm even more on board than i was originally let me know what you think how you find these cutscenes uh, i quite like them thank you all for watching and i will catch you guys all later